hello welcome to another video and as you can probably see i have integrated sesame street into my city and i'm going to be just kind of showing you how i modified it a bit to put it in my city so this used to be kind of a corner kind of building like so and i just added um, some plates of my own to fill up that gap and i just put the fire hydrant right there and then to burst, I just literally switched it around. Um, basically, the storefront was going to be on that that way. Um, but I flipped it around and just because when you're seeing it from this view, if it was the original, it would be showing its back to the city and it would look terrible. So I just switched that. It was a bit confusing trying to switch it all the way around. Um, but it worked, and yeah, and I also just um, put the chair and the table over here as well. So just, it's not like, it's not totally blank, but there's no chair or table or any anything like that um, in the alleyway. But yeah, I really wanted to integrate it to my, in my city. This, I replaced like this space um, with the Sesame Street and before, there was the Lego store and the Lego offices, but I needed to replace that with the Sesame Street because I wanted it to be pointing the front to uh, when you walk into my room. Um, but I had some room for the sweet shop as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you may ask where is my other things? Well, way down there, under my bed, it's kind of hard to get a glimpse of it, um, is my kind of street lineup there. So as I probably said in the city tour, we get a crossroad, and it's gonna go down to another street. So lots of room for expansion. I mean, not lots, but there is room for expansion. The Sesame Street takes up a lot of space. It is big and um, at least replace two buildings that were there originally. So that's pretty cool. I just wanted to do a quick little recap update um, about the Sesame Street, and I think it really fits well in the city. Yeah, so then, then I moved this Lego store right here, and this Lego office is right here, and that's exactly enough space to do the crossroad. So. I mean, you just want to figure out, like, where you want these buildings to be. Um, and I think this is a good way to do it. I wanted the Lego store and the Lego offices to be kind of on the main strip, um, just because it's most popular, because, hey, it's Lego. And, um, but, yeah, I didn't need to move this center there, so that's nice. But, yeah, thanks so much for watching. really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.